from then on, I've heard Sean Scott refer to himself as the Future Shock at this point. Shut 
this humongous crowd here in front of me sell out. Standing room only, turn away crowd at the nine year anniversary show. That's a glory nine. What do I know? I'm just the new guy here. I'm just making this assumption on a split whim here. I was referring I was referring to a few months ago, Sean Scott was in the ring against Sonny Deeds when Sean Scott was the DCW Future Shock champion and Sonny Deeds robbed him of that title and then threw it in the trash can. Oh wow. So since then I've talked to Sean Scott and I've heard him refer to himself as the actual Future Shock at this point because he was the less successful and defending Future Shock champion in DCW. Fair enough. And we, missed, we missed him in action here last month. Excuse me for awesome. interrupting you. But we missed him in action here last month. He was traveling. He was traveling all around, all around the north. He was going. He was going to see the Northern Lights in Canada. Wrestle under those, under those big historical rings in Canada. Perfecting his craft and trying to make a name for himself in this business. No doubt, aren't we all though? Absolutely. I gotta admire a man who's on the road. Absolutely. We're getting the crowd into it here. Alright, sit down. <laughs> Couldn't help it, I'm getting into it. 
My first night here is a great crowd in Farmington, Delaware. Oh! Oh, oh and a sneak attack for Pearl Harbor! Sneak attack, and we are underway, though. Tim Richards looks like, looks like he cut some more of his hair off with Mozart Fontaine. Some open... The re referee, once again, still new to the game. He's got to get it. He's got to get his head on straight. He's got to get maintain control and get 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 at least two members of each team out of the ring. This is not a tornado tag. Not advertised that way. Should not go on that way. It looks like Tim Richards is taking control of Mozart Fontaine in this corner over here. We got Sean Scott, the future shot, taking on Bull Payne over there. But Bull Payne is debuting here in DCW just like yourself, David. Well, you know, everybody's got to get a start here. And, you know, the man they call the bull here, this guy, I mean, right now he's getting beat down a little bit, but he's giving it his best here. Hopefully... He, he's, pow he's powering around Sean Scott, I mean... But over here on the other rope here, oh, he's just blasting him with the head. The man that calls himself the original chick magnet, Mozart Fontaine, was just getting blasted in the corner. Well, the referee still doesn't seem to be able to control any order here. I personally am a fan of the tornado myself, but I agree with you. Rules are rules, and they're meant to be enforced. Well, if it wasn't advertised that way, then it shouldn't carry on that This is factually correct. Now it looks like Bull Payne is going to bombard Sean Scott with the with the midsection of Si Senor, and it looks like he's going to gore. He's going to gore Sean Scott in the corner. Oh, gore! Look, Si Senor looking to make a kick to the bottom of Sean of Bull Payne to try to. I'm sorry. Is it Bull Payne? Did I say that? You're getting distracted by all the lovely ladies that keep walking past us. I'm getting distracted too. We gotta keep Bullsmith. it together. Bullsmith, I'm sorry. It's Bullsmith, Bull Pain, Bull. As long as it's not Bull crap, that's all that matters. I'm sure you wouldn't appreciate Life that. Life Bank's chopped by Sunny Deeds. Keep yeah. your eyes on the prize right now. Now this is the gentleman you were telling about, Sunny Deeds, the man that'll do anything to win. Is that correct? Yes. And the fans here, the fans here are all. He's transparent. They all see right through him. All they all see through. He actually calls himself dirty. So there's absolutely no hiding, no shame in the fact that he's the dirtiest player here in DCW. No he's doubt. grabbed a handful of hair right there and you just swing it with your right eyes and right in front of the referee. Absolutely. Even in the room when I met him, he like put his hand out I, as I went to shake it. He did the old, gotta fix my hair. So I knew he was a wise guy right off the bat. But hey, there's a couple in every locker room like we said, so it's all good. I'm a tough guy. I can handle it. Bull Smith taking the, the brunt of punishment right from the beginning, right here, right after, right, right after Hank maintained control. Bull Smith is bending the rules. Now he's taking on all three members of this team. And Dirty Sunny D's is well in control of this match right now. Make that tag. Absolutely. Opponent in the corner. He doesn't want to be here. It's pretty much like three guys on one in the corner and double team here by the original Chick Maggot and Dirty Sunny D's. You just call him a maggot. Mm, maggot. Magnet. We shall call him a magnet. There's a two count from Hank right there. Mozart Fontaine trying to take the, the breath away from Bull Smith. And you know, without oxygen in your lungs, there's ain't no way you're going to make some kickouts. And I actually see if the presence of the wrestling vixen, Tracy Taylor, has any impact on on the, on the victory or defeat when it comes to this team. Well, she's currently making an impact on the voice of the ring, David Adams. But that's another story for another show. Back to the ring now. Back to the action. The scoop slam has done old school as old school as Sunny Deeds is. He's grabbing that hair. Handful of hair. Referee admonishing him. Hank Daniels has to get in there. Come on, buddy. Get in there. He cannot let these shenanigans and Tom foolery happen all night. He's got to hold his ground. Oh, boo with the cross body off the roof. He tags in C Senor. Let's see what C Senor can do. Fresh man in the ring scoops him up with a body slam of his own. Sonny Deeds is suddenly in a whole lot of trouble. Look at C. Senor go. Punches him to the face. Oh, it's a reversal off the rope, so. Vicious clothesline by dirty Sonny Deeds. Back in control. One of the dirtiest men here in DCW, apparently. 
you want to scoop me for one moment, David? I have to uh, actually. I got my wisdom teeth taken out yesterday, so I have to take my medicine. So I'm going to go over and get. Go it. take your medicine. Absolutely. If you got any extra, Come give on. it to David Adams. It's all good. But back to ringside here. Dirty Sunny D's back in control of Cisignor. Cisignor's got to make a tiger. This is going to be over real quick. He's in the wrong corner. See, and they can pick who, he picked who everyone to tag to nice and casually. The chick magnet comes in, the original chick magnet. Fontaine on the offensive here. Axe handle to the back. Kicks him right in the noggin here, right in the nose. It's a modified version of the camel clutch right here. He can tap out, he's right in the middle of the ring. The referee Hank Daniels is on top of the action. Season here could be moments away from tapping out. Oh, he sits right out of the middle of his back there. Fontaine, definitely very technically sound. He knows how to wear a man down. Oh, uh, this is unnecessary. Nobody wants to see that. Like, seriously, especially the, the, the voice of Larry David Adams. I really don't want to see that. More of the wrestling vixen and less of that nonsense. But as I'm talking here, it's a tag back in to Dirty Sunny Deeds. And Paul Smith at ringside going, hey, why don't you tag me, man? Why do you keep tagging him? Well, it, it, it's apparent that the original chick magnet, Mozart Fontaine, and Dirty Sunny Deeds have teamed together for a long time. Very, very working well together in the ring. The fluid motions, whether they be fair or dirty, you can you got to give the veteran tag teams in this business their due because they know every they know every part of the business. They know how to win. And bottom line is, like them or hate them, you got to respect these guys. But back to the to ringside here. I don't even know what to say. This this guy, C. Senora, he oh he's he's on the offensive back there. I was gonna say the one punch, but he now oh. Oh, and he gets dropped on his head. See, si, senor, you need to tag your opponent or your partner. My God, okay, no. Oh, and he just got treated like a doormat. Sonny D just wiped his feet on C, si, senor. How disrespectful can you get? And as the action continues to here at DCW, Dirty Sunny Deeds continues to wear down one of his opponents here. Si sí, senor. Maybe I, I don't know, I don't speak Spanish, but if you can understand me, you need, oh, you need to tag. That could be the turning point. Off the ropes. Sunset flip into a pin. One, two. Ow. Almost got him. Two and a half, says the referee. This is a great strategy here. Dirty Sunny Deeds goes and knocks both of his other opponents off the ringside, so Season Year has nobody to tag to. A tag back in to the original chick magnet. Fontaine on the offensive. Paul Smith left at ringside wondering, what am I gonna get in this match? Come on, don't cry, big guy. <laughs> it's all good. Boston crowd here, right in the middle of the ring. Mozart Fontaine, he could win by submission in just a few moments here. Oh, look at this. He smacks his hand to pretend like he's tagging while the referee's out of place. There was no tag, but yet there was. Some of the shadiest players in the game I've ever seen, but they got away with it, so I guess if they got away with it, did they really ever break the rules? That's the way I kind of look at it. If you can get away with it, go for it, buddy. I mean, not everybody can be a perfect model citizen like the voice of the ring, David Adams. I understand. My broadcast colleague, Corey Castle, is back. Mr. Castle, sir, did you take your medicine, young man? Yes, I did. I need to, uh, I need to fill up on my nutrients at the point. Yeah. Hey. Fill up on your nutrients, don't get dehydrated. We gotta take care of you here. I can't be doing this job all night by myself because personally, I'm not that good at it without you, buddy. And I don't know everybody, so help a brother out here. 
but we're back to ringside. You know, enough about me. Let's get back to this match. We got Mozart Bontana in there trying to roll up. Oh, season you're with a roll up right there. Look like almost a, a magistral cradle right there. I was just telling everybody, season has been in this ring a long time, and every time he gets a little bit of an offensive. The dirty players here in the corner, they take um, his partners out of the action, they knock him off ringside, and he just cannot seem to get a break in this match. Well, it seems like a pattern at this point. I mean, you saw them doing this. That's their, that's their, that's their tactic right there. They're, they're taking off and cutting off one part, one, one member of this team at a time. At first, you saw it was Bull, uh, it was Bull Smith, and now, now you got the attack going right, focused on, on C. Senor. Who's next? Tim Richards. Well, if, if, if they're lucky enough to get in the ring, because he's he just, I mean, this guy is going to run out of energy eventually. He can't in it forever. Looks like the freshest member, the freshest member of the, of the, of the clean team would have to be Tim Richards at this point. Did your voice just break? That, the, that was your big guy voice. I like that. It was, yeah, Tim Richards of the clean team is definitely the freshest guy, but he can't, they're both fresh because she's in, you're not able to get, succeed with that suplex. It, it looks like. Sonny Deeds may be going for a signature hat trick right here. We got one, two, two, and goes for that cover. Only got a one count on that one. You gotta, you gotta think about the the tenacity of C. Senor. I mean, he's traveled the roads. He's he's from Mexico City, so I mean, the way they train him down there is, is just Smash Mouth style, and he's been through this. Absolutely, and you have a lot of fantastic words tonight. Tenacity is another word of the night. I like that a lot. The kid does have tenacity, and it just easy. He's out of his mind because this guy just keeps fighting on. He's been in there like what seems like 10 minutes all by himself. He can't seem to get a break, and uh, just getting romper stomped by the dirty one, dirty Sunny Deeds. Mozart Fontaine doing his damage as well, but you, you see they're not really getting Sean Scott in there as much as they should be. He is the future shock himself, Sean Scott. And I mean... He's the youngest, just like these guys. He wants to get in there and rumble it around for a little while. Get his get his stuff in. This is what I'm talking about. See, every time a possibility of a tag happens, he goes over and he beats up this guy's like tag team partners. This is this is why this is why Hank, the referee, Hank needs to needs to enforce the rules. I mean we got we gotta uh, uh oh Oh boy, business just picked up. Professional distraction. Yeah yeah. This is the wrestling vixen. Tracy Taylor looking lovely tonight. This, this is also her debut here in DCW. Is it really? Very nice. Tonight is the night of, of premieres. Oh, uh, look at Dirty Sunny Deeds on his knees. Closing. She's in your. Ow! Oh, slap right to the face. Can this be it? Senior was going to steal it. That was the most offense that the clean team has had in like 10 minutes. The Vixen, Tracy Taylor, what an asset she has proven to be for these guys. What they've been doing, smart wrestling right here, cutting the ring in half. Season Senior not able to get over to his corner to make a tag. That old school elbow drop from Montar Fontaine right on the C. Senior, introducing him to the old era, if you will. Go for the cover. And that was a, to use your word again, a lackadaisical cover. He didn't, he was very cocky about it, didn't try and hook the leg or anything. I have not used the word lackadaisical at all tonight. I said nonchalant, but if you want to paraphrase, uh, go. All right, you know what? And then I, then the, the other voices in my head said lackadaisical, and I'm going to listen to them. I've been listening to them my whole life, so it's all good. You see Team Richards and Bull Smith over there trying to get the fans. Trying to get the fans solidly behind seats in urine. You can hear them yeah. chanting this capacity crowd in Farmington. February 25th, 2012, C. Senor hits the ropes, ducks under, Mozart Fontaine's clothesline. They both had the same move in mind. Mozart Fontaine and Sonny D, or, and excuse me, C. Senor both down. They, both men are jump. If he gets to a double 10 count, we're going to get to that situation that the fans will not like. It would be a double count out. We cannot have that here at the anniversary show. Guts and Glory, 2012. And it looks like he finally gets in. Oh yeah, Tim 
Richards, fresh guy in there right now, just laying him out with a flurry of offensive maneuvers and a, and a really stiff clothesline right there. Takes, takes Sean Scott was out of his shoes and Bull Payne, or excuse me, Bull Smith getting himself all hyped up, getting ready. I hear you. Four. Fourth and out of his shoes. Could this what? be a three count? Hank, pay attention. I'm spilling stuff over here. I'm sorry there, Corey. It's out of control here. I'm almost breaking all the electronic uh, equipment. That would not be good on my first night here. But look at this. You see the power of C-Senor as he scoops him up. We got, oh, a beautiful double team. Oh, a 